Uh, firstly, without getting involved in the politics of the whole thing, I think this controversial is unnecessary and avoidable. Uh, there is no controversy. Uh, you, if you look at India Gate, India Gate is, uh, was built at a time to honor the Indian soldier who served the British Empire. It's only 1971, uh, after the war, uh, that we established the Amar Jawan Jyoti, the Eternal Flame, uh, again, uh, to pay homage uh, to the martyrs, uh, to those who made the supreme sacrifice during the 71 war, to the Indian soldiers and sailors and air, air, air warriors. Now, with, as the National War Memorial has now been finally constructed, finally been give, given to the nation uh, as respect to the armed forces and to all the sailors, soldiers and air warriors who have made the supreme sacrifice, uh, I think it's a logical step that we merge the eternal, eternal flame uh, with the National War Memorial. If you look at the two concepts also, India Gate is a, you know, when you go to India Gate, you find everyone picnicking there, everyone making a lot of noise and all things. There, there's nothing sacred about it. When you go to the National War Memorial, you find that each tablet, there were 25,000 of, uh, uh, of our soldiers who made the supreme sacrifice. Each tablet is devoted to a single soldier. And there you find our people who come from all over the country are paying homage uh, to the Indian soldiers, sailors, air warriors. So that is the difference between the two. So I think it's a very logical step and a very good thing that at, at long last, uh, we are there to honor uh, the soldiers. Now, Lieutenant General Bhatia, the point that the opposition parties, including the Congress, seem to be making is that uh, there is a nostalgia that's a, uh, attached to the Amar Jawan Jyoti. Uh, uh, do you agree with that? They also uh, seem to suggest that why can't we have two flames, even though administratively uh, it may seem uh, a bit awkward to have two flames right next to each other. No, I, I, I don't uh, really agree with it because I think uh, we have to move forward and uh, the construct of the National War Memorial, which was which has been in the planning stages and which is in demand for a very long time, and finally when it has really come up, we need to merge the two. Uh, the nostalgia is only one part of it. Uh, nostalgia, we can't live on that. We have to move forward, and we have to respect the uh, you know uh, it is not only respect to the um, uh, to all the soldiers made the supreme sacrifice, but the spirit of soldiering. The National War Memorial, more than that, it is the spirit of soldiering you are talking about. It is the honor to the soldier who is serving and the honor. To the soldiers retired, and today we all go to the National War Memorial. Earlier we used to go to India again because we have, there is no other alternative. So we have a better or better thing now going. And we and if you look at National War Memorial, it also depicts the various battles. It got the bust of the, all the Parumbir chakras. So there is much more to National War Memorial than just the Amar Jawan Jyoti. And the Amar Jawan Jyoti being merged, it is not that it is being extinguished. There is not there is no dishonor involved. So it is a move forward, and we have to move forward because that time in 1972, after the 71 war. There was no other alternative. So this was done. It has been 50 years now. We have respected everything. I, I have myself laid the wreath at Amazon Jyoti a number of times. Uh, and whenever I've been there, uh, even in CVs, when I used to, uh, whenever I want to get, I've stood there in two years, two, two months uh, silence, paying my homage to the uh, to the soldiers. But all around, I find uh, people who are you know picnic around, who are shouting around, and so that was not because they come for they have a different purpose. But when I go to the National War Memorial now to pay homage to our soldiers, I find it is different. You find a National War Memorial also every day we honor one. Uh, one of our soldiers, sailor air warriors, the next of kin comes there, the serving soldiers, the veterans uh, come there, they go to the tablet, pay homage out there, pay, pay homage at the, uh, at the uh, flame at the National War Memorial. And that is what we are doing. And that is why I think it is it is imperative that the two be merged and National War Memorial become the symbol of what we call sacred and what we pay homage to the, uh, to, to the uh, martyrs and also to the spirit of soldier. Now, uh, uh, General, uh, the government, in a sense, essentially is saying that the National War Memorial represents independent India and the eternal soldier, of course. Uh, you know, they also say that uh, perhaps in that sense is the moving forward of our national history also, because uh, the India Gate uh, essentially had the names of, uh, uh, you know, British Indian soldiers as well as British soldiers who fought in the Second World War. So do you agree with that? Hundred percent. You know that the India Gate is the symbol where the where we uh, Indian soldiers uh, defended the British Empire, whether the First World War or the Third of War. Uh, they, both of them, we defended the British Empire, not fought for India. Whereas National War Memorial is where the Indian soldiers have ensured the security of India, fought for India, defended India. So that's the spirit of India we're talking about. And it is the Indian soldiers, both they are also Indian soldiers, and let me also say that are 
the armed forces heritage comes from the comes from the british there's no doubt about it and we respect their soldiers there's no disrespect to the indian soldiers who who made the who laid down their lives for the british empire they were soldiers serving in indian units so i i don't feel that there's a difference between the two but today we want to move forward and respect the indian armed forces and the indian soldier who have made the supreme sacrifice for the defense of india post independence and that 25000 who have, who have laid down their lives for india